Welcome to the mystical realm of Celtic mythology. Uncover the enchanting world of mythical creatures as we embark on a journey through ancient folklore. From mischievous leprechauns to majestic banshees, our exploration will delve into the rich tapestry of Celtic legends. Join us as we unveil the captivating stories and mysterious powers behind these mythical beings. Subscribe now and let the magic of Celtic mythology come to life on your screen. 1. Tuatha de Danann The Tuatha de Danann, often referred to as the people of the goddess Danu, are a powerful and divine race of beings in Celtic mythology. They represent a group of deities associated with the other world and are central figures in many Irish myths. The Tuatha de Danann are skilled in magic and possess supernatural abilities, making them formidable forces in the mythic landscape. The Tuatha de Danann are known for their beauty, wisdom and mastery of the arts and sciences. Key members of this divine race include Lug, the god of light, Nuada, the king with a silver hand, and Brigid, the goddess of poetry, healing and smithcraft. They are associated with important artifacts, such as the Sword of Nuada and the Cauldron of Dagda, which hold significant mythological importance. The Tuatha de Danann play a central role in the mythological cycle of Ireland, engaging in battles with other supernatural beings, such as the Fomorians. Their encounters with mortal heroes, such as the warrior Cuchulain, are prominent in Irish mythology. Despite their divine status, the Tuatha de Danann eventually withdraw to the other world, becoming elusive and enigmatic figures. 2. Fomorians The Fomorians are a race of supernatural beings in Celtic mythology, often portrayed as malevolent and chaotic forces. They are in opposition to the Tuatha de Danann and are associated with the sea and the forces of chaos. The Fomorians are depicted as monstrous beings with deformities, such as multiple heads, eyes or limbs. Key figures among the Fomorians include Bala, a giant with a destructive eye, and Elatha, associated with beauty and sovereignty. They are often linked to the elements of the sea and are considered adversaries in battles with the Tuatha de Danann. The Fomorians represent the chaotic and destructive forces in Celtic mythology, embodying the challenges and adversities faced by the divine and mortal realms. The mythological battles between the Tuatha de Danann and the Fomorians symbolize the perpetual struggle between order and chaos. 3. Cuchulain, Cuchulan, also known as Setanta, is a legendary hero in Irish mythology, celebrated for his exceptional skills in combat and his unwavering bravery. His story is part of the Ulster Cycle, a collection of heroic tales centered around the warriors of the Ulaid. Cuchulain is the son of the god Lug and is raised by the warrior woman Scathach in Scotland, where he learns various martial arts and acquires formidable abilities. He is known for his warp spasm, a berserker rage that enhances his strength and combat prowess. Cuchulain wields powerful weapons, including the Gaibulg, a magical spear with devastating effects. Cuchulain's exploits, including the Tain Bo Quailnga, Cattle Raid of Cooley, showcase his heroic deeds and the challenges he faces. His tragic death is a significant event in Celtic mythology, symbolizing the inevitability of mortality and the sacrifices made by heroes. 4. Selkies Selkies are mythical creatures found in Celtic and Scandinavian folklore, known for their ability to transform between seal and human forms. These shapeshifters are often associated with the sea and play a role in tales of love, loss and longing. Selkies typically appear as seals in the water, but can shed their skin to reveal a human form on land. Folklore often portrays Selkies as enchanting and alluring beings, capable of forming romantic relationships with humans. The theme of stolen or hidden Selkie skins is a recurring motif, representing the tension between the desire for love and the call of the sea. 
Selkie stories explore themes of forbidden love, loss, and the consequences of attempting to control or possess these mythical beings. The folklore surrounding Selkies reflects the profound connection between Celtic communities and the sea, as well as the unpredictable and mysterious nature of the ocean. 5. Banshees Banshees are supernatural beings associated with Irish folklore, specifically with the premonition of death. These female spirits are often depicted as harbinger of death, wailing and mourning to forewarn families of an impending loss. Banshees are typically described as veiled or hooded women, often with long flowing hair. Their mournful wails are said to be heard before the death of a family member, serving as an omen or warning. While banshees are generally considered ominous, some interpretations suggest that they are guardians or protectors of certain families. The presence of a banshee is believed to indicate the imminent death of a loved one, and her cries evoke a sense of foreboding. Banshees are often associated with specific families, serving as a supernatural connection to ancestral ties and the inevitability of mortality. 6. Puka The Puka, also spelled Puka or Fuka, is a mischievous and shape-shifting creature in Irish folklore. It can take various forms, including that of a horse, goat, hare or goblin, and is known for both playful and malevolent behavior. The Puka is often depicted as a dark, shadowy figure, or a small, goblin-like creature. In some stories, the Puka may offer guidance or assistance, while in others, it plays tricks on travelers or leads them astray. Its ability to shapeshift adds an element of unpredictability to encounters with the Puka. The Puka's dual nature reflects the capriciousness of nature and the need for humility and respect when navigating the mystical aspects of the Celtic landscape. Farmers and rural communities often incorporated the puka into their beliefs, seeking to appease or gain favor with this enigmatic creature for a bountiful harvest. 7. Kelpies Kelpies are water spirits or shape-shifting water horses found in Celtic mythology, particularly in Scottish folklore. They are often associated with bodies of water such as lochs and rivers, and their appearances range from benevolent to malevolent. Kelpies are most commonly depicted as horses, but they can also assume human form. In some stories, Kelpies appear as beautiful horses by the water's edge, enticing unsuspecting travelers to mount them. Once mounted, the Kelpie dives into the water, drowning its victim. The transformation from horse to human form is a key aspect of the Kelpie myth. Kelpies embody the dangers and mysteries of water, serving as cautionary figures for those who venture too close to lakes and rivers. The association with drowning reflects the unpredictable and potentially treacherous nature of bodies of water in Celtic mythology. 8. Leonan Shidi, the Leonan Shii, or fairy lover, is a mythical creature in Irish folklore associated with inspiration, creativity, and the arts. However, her influence is often portrayed as both a blessing and a curse, as those who become entangled with her risk their well-being. The Linan Sidi is often depicted as a beautiful woman, capable of inspiring poets, artists, and musicians. She is said to form relationships with mortal men, providing them with inspiration and talent in exchange for their love and companionship. Despite her enchanting allure, the Leonan Sidi's presence is believed to bring sorrow, madness, and an early death to those she inspires. The Leonan Sidi embodies the dual nature of artistic inspiration, suggesting that creativity comes at a price. The theme of sacrifice and the ephemeral nature of artistic brilliance are central to the mythology surrounding the Leonan Sidi. 9. Fairy Folk Fairies or the Sigi are a broad category of mythical beings in Celtic folklore, encompassing various supernatural entities with distinct characteristics and roles. These include the Dawin Sigi, people of the mounds, Iosi, people of the mounds, and various regional fairy traditions. Fairies are often depicted as ethereal and magical beings residing in mounds, hills, or the other world. 
They possess supernatural powers and are associated with natural elements such as flowers, trees and bodies of water. Fairies can be benevolent, offering guidance or assistance, or mischievous, playing tricks on humans who intrude upon their territories. Fairies play diverse roles in Celtic mythology, including serving as guardians of the land, interacting with mortal heroes, and participating in supernatural events. The belief in fairies persists in Celtic cultures, influencing folk traditions, festivals, and superstitions. 10. Dullahan. The Dullahan is a sinister and headless rider in Irish folklore, often associated with death and foretelling the demise of individuals. This mythical creature is particularly ominous, instilling fear in those who encounter it. The Dullahan is typically portrayed as a headless figure riding a black horse, carrying its severed head under one arm. Its appearance is accompanied by a deathly chill, and it is said to have the ability to see across great distances. When the Dullahan calls out a person's name, that individual is destined to die. The Dullahan embodies the inevitability of death and the supernatural forces associated with mortality. Its role as a harbinger of death adds a chilling dimension to Celtic folklore, emphasizing the transient nature of life. 11. Gankanag. The Gankanag is a mythical creature in Irish folklore, often considered a type of fairy or love sprite. Unlike the more malevolent creatures, the Gankanag is associated with seduction and charm. The Gankanag is described as an exceptionally handsome man with mesmerizing charm. He carries a magical harp that can enchant those who hear its music, leading them into a trance-like state. Despite his captivating allure, the Gankanag is said to be fickle in love, often leaving broken hearts in his wake. The Gankanag embodies the allure and dangers of romantic entanglements, emphasizing the fleeting and unpredictable nature of love. His enchanting music and irresistible charm serve as cautionary elements in Celtic folklore. 12. Guraged Anon. The Guraged Anon, also known as the Damsels of the Otherworld, are water spirits associated with lakes and rivers in Welsh mythology. These beautiful and elusive beings are guardians of the water and are sometimes believed to marry mortal men. Guragad Anon are often described as ethereal and enchanting women with a connection to the natural world. Legend has it that they marry mortal men, but the marriage is conditional, and if the mortal breaks a certain taboo, the Guragad Anon will return to the other world. They are considered both benevolent guardians and potential sources of misfortune. Guragad Anon embody the mystical and transformative aspects of water, reflecting the belief in the other world's influence on the mortal realm. The stories of their marriages to mortal men explore themes of love, commitment, and the consequences of breaking sacred bonds. 13. Iosi, Sidi, the Iosi, often referred to simply as the Shidi, are a group of supernatural beings in Irish folklore, sometimes associated with fairies or elves. They inhabit the other world and are known for their magical abilities and interactions with humans. The Aosi are considered the fairy folk of Ireland, residing in mounds, hills and magical landscapes. They possess magical powers, including shape-shifting, invisibility and the ability to manipulate time. The Aosi are often depicted as both benevolent and mischievous, with some stories portraying them as protectors of nature and others as tricksters. The Aosi play a central role in Celtic mythology, connecting the mortal world with the other world. Beliefs in the Aosai persist in Irish culture, influencing traditions, superstitions, and the understanding of the mystical aspects of the natural world. 14. Fachan. The Fachan is a monstrous creature in Scottish folklore, known for its grotesque appearance and terrifying nature. It is said to inhabit desolate and remote areas, posing a threat to those who venture too close. The Fachan is depicted as having one arm, one leg and one eye, along with other deformities. Its appearance is intended to evoke fear, 
and it is often associated with dangerous landscapes such as moors and desolate hills. The Fakan is a solitary creature and encounters with it are believed to bring misfortune or death. The Fachan represents the mysterious and fearsome aspects of the natural world, cautioning against the dangers of venturing into remote or unknown territories. Its grotesque appearance adds an element of horror to Scottish folklore, emphasizing the untamed and unpredictable forces of nature. 15. Dobar Chu The Dobar Chu is a mythical creature from Irish folklore, often described as a monstrous otter or waterhound. It is known for its size, strength and sometimes malevolent behavior, particularly in relation to bodies of water. The Dobharchu is typically depicted as a large otter with a powerful, dog-like appearance. Some legends suggest that it is capable of aggressive and vengeful behavior, particularly towards those who harm it or its kin. The creature is associated with bodies of water such as lakes and rivers. Stories of the Dobar Chu caution against disrespecting or harming the natural world, especially creatures associated with water. The mythical creature embodies the mysteries and potential dangers of the watery realms in Celtic mythology. 16. Gwilion The Gwilion is a mythical creature found in Welsh folklore, often described as a malevolent spirit or hag that resides in mountainous and remote areas. It is known for its deceptive and sometimes harmful interactions with travelers. The Gwilion is typically depicted as an old woman or hag with a sinister demeanor. It is associated with misty and desolate landscapes, and some stories describe it as luring travelers off their paths or causing them to become lost. The Gwilion is considered a trickster figure, capable of leading people astray and causing confusion. The Gwilion serves as a cautionary element in Welsh folklore, warning against the dangers of the wilderness and the need for travellers to remain vigilant. The deceptive nature of the Gwilion adds a supernatural and mysterious dimension to stories of encounters in the mountains. 17. The Each Wisja, the Each Wisja, also known as the Ogiski in Ireland, is a water horse found in Scottish and Irish folklore. This mythical creature is often associated with bodies of water and is known for its malevolent nature. The Ich Uiske is typically depicted as a beautiful horse that lures unsuspecting travelers to ride on its back. Once mounted, the creature drags its victim into the water where it reveals its true monstrous form. The Ich Uiske is considered a dangerous and predatory water spirit Tales of the Each Whisker caution against the allure of beauty and the dangers of trusting mysterious creatures near bodies of water. The water horse myth reflects the Celtic belief in the unpredictable and potentially treacherous nature of lakes and rivers. 18. Corrigan The Corrigan is a mythical creature from Breton folklore, particularly associated with the forests and wells of Brittany. It is often depicted as a beautiful fairy or nymph-like being, known for its seductive and sometimes harmful interactions with humans. The Corrigan is usually portrayed as a stunningly beautiful woman, capable of enchanting those who encounter her. Some legends describe the Corrigan as a shapeshifter, able to transform into various forms to deceive or attract humans. The creature is associated with freshwater sources, and wells in particular, are considered its dwelling places. The Corrigan embodies the allure and danger of the natural world, particularly in secluded and enchanting landscapes. Folklore warns against becoming entangled with the Corrigan, emphasizing the need for caution and respect when interacting with mystical beings in the Celtic tradition. 19. Ku Sidi The Ku Sidi, or fairy dog, is a mythical creature in Scottish and Irish folklore, often associated with the fairy folk or the Sidi. This spectral dog is both a guardian and an omen, appearing in various contexts to convey messages or protect certain areas. The Kushji is typically depicted as a large, shaggy dog with a dark or greenish coat. It is believed to guard the entrances to the other world 
and may be seen as both a protector and a harbinger of death. Some stories describe the Ku Shi as an otherworldly companion to fairy hosts, joining them in supernatural revelries. The Ku Shi Di represents the liminal space between the mortal world and the other world, serving as a guardian and a guide. Its presence in various contexts, from guarding fairy mounds to accompanying supernatural processions, highlights its versatility in Celtic mythology. 20. Amphir Liath Mor The Amphir Liath Mor, or Big Grey Man, is a mythical creature in Scottish folklore, specifically associated with Ben Macdui, one of Scotland's highest peaks. This mysterious and elusive being is often described as a humanoid figure, shrouded in mist. The Amphir Liath Mor is said to be a tall and imposing figure, often obscured by mist or fog. Witnesses report feeling a sense of dread and unease in its presence, and some describe it as a guardian or protector of the mountain. Encounters with the Big Grey Man are associated with eerie phenomena, including inexplicable sounds and sensations. The legend of the Amphir Liath Mor adds an atmospheric and supernatural element to the Scottish Highlands, emphasizing the mystical qualities of remote and majestic landscapes. The creature's connection to Ben Macdui reflects the belief in the sacred and spiritual nature of certain geographical features in Celtic mythology. 21. Gnomes In Celtic folklore, gnomes are mythical creatures associated with the earth element. These small, humanoid beings are believed to inhabit underground realms especially in hills and mounds. Gnomes are often portrayed as caretakers of nature and guardians of hidden treasures. Gnomes are typically described as small bearded creatures with a deep connection to the earth. They are considered skilled miners and guardians of precious gems and metals found beneath the ground. Some stories depict gnomes as helpful beings, offering guidance to those who respect and honor the natural world. Gnomes represent the harmonious relationship between the Earth and its inhabitants in Celtic mythology. Belief in gnomes underscores the importance of environmental stewardship and the interconnectedness of humans with the natural elements. 22. Grogoch The Grogoch is a mischievous and hairy creature in Manx folklore, originating from the Isle of Man. Also known as the Fenodiri, this solitary being is often associated with rural landscapes and is believed to help farmers with their work. The Grogoch is described as a small, hairy and somewhat grotesque creature, reminiscent of a wild man or woodland spirit. It is known to assist farmers with various tasks, such as threshing grain or tending to livestock. Despite its helpful nature, the Grogoch is shy and elusive, avoiding direct contact with humans. The Grogoch embodies the folkloric tradition of household spirits and nature guardians. Its presence in Manx mythology reflects the importance of reciprocal relationships between humans and the supernatural entities that inhabit the rural landscapes. 23. Blue Men of the Minch The Blue Men of the Minch are mythical sea creatures in Scottish folklore, particularly associated with the waters of the Minch, a strait between the mainland of Scotland and the Outer Hebrides. These beings are believed to be shapeshifters and are sometimes depicted as malevolent entities. The Blue Men of the Minch are often described as having blue-tinged skin with the ability to transform into sea creatures or human forms. They are associated with creating storms and rough seas, posing a threat to sailors and fishermen. Some stories suggest that the Blue Men are skilled musicians, luring sailors with their enchanting melodies. The Blue Men of the Minch contribute to the maritime folklore of Scotland, emphasizing the unpredictable and potentially perilous nature of the sea. Their shape-shifting abilities and connection to music add a mystical and haunting quality to the stories surrounding these mythical sea creatures. 24. Dwarfs, dwarfs or dwarves, are mythical beings found in various forms of Celtic folklore, often associated with underground realms and craftsmanship. 
These small, sturdy creatures are known for their skill in mining, metalworking, and forging magical items. Dwarfs are typically depicted as small, stout beings with exceptional craftsmanship skills. They are associated with living underground in mines or mountains, where they mine precious metals and gems. Dwarfs are skilled blacksmiths, crafting powerful weapons and magical artifacts for both gods and heroes. Dwarfs contribute to the rich tapestry of Celtic mythology by embodying the connection between the Earth's treasures and the realm of the divine. Their involvement in crafting magical items and weapons adds a dimension of mysticism and power to the stories in which they appear. 25. Nokalavi. The Nokalavi is a malevolent water creature from Orkney folklore, known for its grotesque appearance and destructive nature. This monstrous being is associated with the sea and is believed to bring disease and disaster to coastal communities. The Nukalavi is often described as a skinless, horse-like creature with a rider fused to its back, creating a terrifying and unnatural form. It is associated with droughts, plagues and other calamities, and its appearance is believed to bring sickness to both humans and livestock. The creature is said to be repelled by fresh water, making it vulnerable near rivers and streams. The Nukalavi embodies the fear of the unknown and the destructive forces of nature in Orkney folklore. Its appearance serves as a cautionary tale, warning against the potential consequences of upsetting the delicate balance between humanity and the supernatural. 26. Brownies Brownies are benevolent household spirits found in Celtic folklore, known for their helpful and industrious nature. These small beings are believed to perform domestic tasks in exchange for offerings or gestures of gratitude. Brownies are typically portrayed as small, humanoid creatures, similar to house sprites. They are known to perform household chores such as cleaning, mending and caring for animals during the night. Brownies appreciate offerings of food or other tokens of appreciation, and they may become mischievous if neglected or offended. Brownies contribute to the domestic folklore of Celtic cultures, emphasizing the importance of reciprocity and gratitude in daily life. The symbiotic relationship between humans and brownies underscores the belief in a shared magical connection between the spirit world and the mundane. 27. Glashtin. The Glashtin is a mythical water creature in Manx folklore, often described as a shape-shifting water horse. It is known for its ability to transform into various forms, enticing unsuspecting individuals near bodies of water. The Glashtin is usually depicted as a beautiful horse that lures people to mount it. Once mounted, it transforms into a monstrous sea creature, dragging the rider beneath the waves. The creature is believed to be particularly dangerous to children and is associated with tales of caution for those near rivers and lakes. The Glashtin contributes to the maritime folklore of the Isle of Man, highlighting the mysterious and potentially perilous nature of coastal waters. Its shape-shifting abilities and role as a seducer of unwary individuals add a sense of danger and enchantment to the stories surrounding this mythical water creature. 28. Leanham She The Leanham She, or Leanan Siddha, is a female fairy or spirit in Irish folklore associated with inspiration and artistic endeavors. Despite her enchanting beauty and inspiration, her presence is often linked to tragedy and mortality. The Leanham She is depicted as a beautiful woman who offers inspiration to poets, writers and artists. Those who are inspired by her often face a tragic fate as their creativity comes at the cost of a shortened lifespan. The Leanham She is believed to be both a muse and a soul collector, captivating and claiming the hearts of creative individuals. The Leanham She adds a bittersweet dimension to the artistic inspiration found in Celtic folklore, emphasizing the transient nature of creativity and the sacrifices made for artistic brilliance. Her connection to mortality underscores the theme of life's impermanence in Celtic mythology. 29. Bansida Bean Side. The Bansida, more commonly known as the Banshee or Bean Sida, 
is a female spirit in Irish folklore associated with foretelling death. Her mournful wails are believed to signal the imminent passing of a family member. The Banshee is typically portrayed as a woman dressed in white with long flowing hair. Her wailing cries are said to be heard before the death of a family member, serving as a forewarning to the bereaved. While the Banshee is often associated with mourning, some tales depict her as a guardian or protector of certain families. The Banshee is a prominent figure in Irish folklore, symbolizing the inevitability of death and the importance of familial ties. Her presence adds a supernatural and poignant element to the narrative surrounding mortality in Celtic mythology. The mythical creatures of Celtic mythology contribute to a rich and multifaceted tapestry of folklore, encompassing diverse beings with varying attributes, roles and symbolism. From the divine Tuatha de Danann to the mischievous Puka, each creature reflects the profound connection between the Celtic people and their natural surroundings. These myths serve as a cultural repository, conveying important themes such as the cycles of life, the interplay between order and chaos, and the mysteries of the other world. While Celtic mythology lacks a centralized written tradition, the oral transmission of these stories has allowed them to endure and evolve over centuries. Today, these mythical creatures continue to captivate imaginations, inspiring literature, art, and cultural practices. As we delve into the realms of the Tuatha de Danann, encounter the enchanting Selkies, or heed the warnings of Banshees, we gain insight into the intricate and enduring legacy of Celtic mythology, where the supernatural and the mundane coexist in a delicate balance. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video, See you again.